Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna compare raising ducks versus chickens for eggs. Now we have both here and we like both of them for different reasons. So I'm gonna first talk about the benefits of ducks and chickens and then the pros and cons of each breed. So if you are considering getting some poultry for your backyard, this video is for you. Both chickens and ducks are excellent egg layers. This is a duck egg and these two are chicken. There are both chickens and ducks that can average over 300 eggs a year. Both types of eggs are excellent for eating, but there are some differences in the characteristics of the eggs. I'm gonna be uploading a video about those later this week. So if you're interested, once I get it uploaded, I will leave a link down in the description below. You could also subscribe and then you'll see it come through your feed when it gets posted. Both ducks and chickens help control pests in gardens and on farms by eating insects, slugs, and other small creatures. They can also forage for a portion of their dietary needs. They both also produce manure that can be used as fertilizer in gardens and on farms, improving soil health and crop yields. Raising these cuties can also be a great way to teach children about responsibility, animal care, and where their food comes from. Now, while they do have some distinct differences in their needs, they do have a lot of things in common. They are relatively a low maintenance animal. They require little space and few special accommodations. Or expensive vet care typically have very few health issues. They don't need to be walked or played with. They're content just to roam around and scratch and, you know, be ducks and chickens. Their housing needs are also pretty similar. They need to have a safe, well-vented area, somewhere where they can get away from the weather, away from predators. They also both need a source of clean water and a balanced diet to thrive. Both chickens and ducks are very social animals. They like to hang out in a group or a flock. We've noticed that there are certain ducks that tend to like to hang out together and then there are certain chickens that tend to hang out together but really a lot with the ducks. Now let's dive into the pros and cons of raising chickens and ducks and we're gonna start out with chickens. So some of the pros of raising chickens. Chickens are pretty versatile and adapt to a variety of climates and environments. There are different kinds of chickens that do better in heat and there are different kinds that do better in cold and there are some that that do just fine either way. Chickens for everyone. Also chickens might be able to escape predators better than ducks on land. On land, they are able to run faster than ducks can waddle, and they're also able to fly and roost. Our khaki campbells are able to fly, but they can't roost, so they have to come back down. Raising chickens can also be more cost effective initially, only because they require less space than ducks. They're a smaller animal, they require a little bit less space. So depending on what breed of chicken you got, the recommendations are about three square feet to five square feet of coop space per animal, whereas ducks are a little larger and the recommendations for the smaller breeds are about four square feet to the larger ducks about six square feet of coop space. It means if you had a 10 by 10 coop, which is 100 square feet, you could house 25 chickens inside of that, whereas you could only house 16 ducks. Now chickens do make noise, but they're relatively quiet compared to ducks, especially if you have just the hens. The, the roosters, that's another story, they do make more noise, but even the roosters are not as loud as our ducks. If you just have hens, they're way quieter than barking dogs. Now they're also very tidy when it comes to their water. They just drink it. So that's, that's a plus compared to the ducks. This is going to be controversial because hens get broody. I'm listing this as a pro because if you want to raise chicks, the very easiest way ever is to have a broody hen that at night you slip some chicks under or you let her sit on eggs and she raised, raises the chicks. That is so much easier than doing it yourself. So I consider that a plus, but some people would consider that a negative. Chickens are way more personable, in my opinion, than the ducks. Our chickens can be more like a pet. They will come running when I come out to feed them or let them out, and they look like they're genuinely glad to see me. They will follow us around. Our ducks, even the ducks that we hand raise with the kids at school when they're interacted with daily, they go running the other way when they see me. They're just fraidy cats. I don't know. 
they're just not as personable as the chickens by any stretch of the imagination. My number one favorite thing about the chickens is they put themselves to bed at night. When it gets dusky at night, they march their little selves into their coop and they go to bed. That's wonderful because ducks do not do that. Now for the not so positive things, the cons of chickens. They're messy with their food. They will scratch it. We actually hang our feet up so that they can't scratch it out all over the floor, but they will if they can. And also they are a bit sneakier and trickier than ducks. And so they're able to get into places I don't want them. Like they have gone through my fence into my garden and I've had to replant six rows of corn and six rows of green beans twice they got in there twice and then we found there was a place where our fence had rusted out and they had found it i hadn't found it even though i had been working around the garden space for over a month i hadn't found it but of course the chickens did and so they had gotten into there <clears throat> a couple times when i couldn't figure out how they're getting into it and they caused a lot of damage if our ducks happen to get in there they don't really make the same mess they don't scratch they take their little beaks and they like kind of push it under the ground looking for little insects and things and they do snack on the grass and stuff but they don't cause nearly the damage that the chickens do. This may not be a con, but it is something additional that chickens need that ducks do not need. They need to have a roosting bar to sleep on and they need to have nesting boxes to lay their eggs in. Ducks will just make their own nests on the floor. They will sleep on the floor and they will nest and lay their eggs in the nest. One of our duck houses is basically a rectangle with a ramp that goes in and out and ventilation. That is all. And they are completely happy and fine in it. Another negative would be roosters. They can tend to be mean and noisy, but you don't have to have a rooster. If all you want are eggs, like I mentioned before, some breeds of chickens do go broody and that's kind of, that can be a pain to break them. Time to talk about ducks. First, let's talk about the positives. Housing can be a lot easier construct. Like I just mentioned, you can basically make a square or a rectangle the right size give them some way to get in and out of it and with some ventilation so that there's airflow and you're good to go. No nest boxes, no roosting bars. It's just bedding and a box that you can secure that predators cannot get into and they're golden. A marvelous thing about ducks is they tend to lay their eggs in the early morning. They're usually done by nine o'clock. So if we keep them confined to their coop area, their fenced area, coop area, they will lay their eggs in there and let them out at nine. And we know there's not gonna be eggs hidden somewhere. They're gonna be in the coop. I should have added this to the cons of chickens. One of the cons of chickens is they will lay their eggs in the nest boxes, but they also have more of a tendency, in my opinion, in my experience, to go and find like ours free range. And so we might find nests everywhere. And then we have to confine them into their coop and fenced yard area for a week or something, get them used to laying back in their nest. That's a pain. Both ducks and chickens are pretty disease resistant. Ducks tend to be a little hardier. They often require less medical attention. They, um, they're more cold hardy and they love wet. So if you are in an area that gets a lot of rain, a lot of moisture, ducks are gonna be for you. They absolutely love it. I mean, they're waterfowl. They're supposed to be in the water. Ducks also have a higher food conversion rate, which means they need less food for the volume of egg that they make compared to chickens. I already mentioned they don't make a mess with their, with their food. They don't scratch like the chickens do. So that's a huge benefit. And my very favorite thing about ducks, one of the main reasons we actually keep them more than the eggs, this is my number one reason to have ducks. They are slug assassinators. They wipe out slugs like nobody's business. And we, where we live, there are a lot of slugs. So when I don't have ducks out roaming around, our slug population increases, I mean, noticeably increases very rapidly. When I have ducks out wandering around, they just take care of it. It's the number one benefit for me because slugs can wipe out my garden in no time flat. That's how many we have. We have millions of them. It is very wet and cool here. So it's a perfect slug environment. Now a duck's eggs, we get way more money if we sell eggs for duck eggs than for chicken eggs. The ducks, their eggs are larger and they have a larger egg yolk ratio to white. And so chefs and bakers love them for baked goods. So they will special order them 
and pay a premium price for duck eggs. And there's, there's less of them available. That probably plays into the reason we get so much for our duck eggs, but we don't even bother selling chicken eggs. We only sell the duck eggs and the duck eggs will pay for maintaining them. Now this isn't always the case, but some people who have chicken allergies can eat duck eggs and they don't have a problem at all. So that is, you know, if you, if you can't eat chicken eggs and you want to have eggs to bake with or eat or whatever, you could try duck eggs and then go that route if eggs are something you're looking into. Now, if you have a nice water source near you, like a pond or a lake, ducks can escape predators, predators very easily. They just go onto the water and then the fox or whatever can't reach them. They're out in the lake or the pond. So that's a huge benefit if you live near water. Some of the potential cons of ducks, they need to have water. If, if you don't have a lake or a pond or a stream or whatever, you're gonna need to provide water. They bathe in it, they need water where they can get their beak into it because they flush out their nostrils and eat and they help um, push down their food with the water. Water is really important to ducks. If you have to provide a pool or a tub, which is what we do, there's extra time involved with that. You have to keep it clean and filled. So there's extra time with maintenance with the ducks in that sense that you don't have with chickens. And related to that, it's messier. Ducks will splash and make a big old mess that chickens don't make. So they're messy with water. Clean with their food, but they're messy with their water. They're also larger, so they do produce more manure, which is good in that you get more fertilizer with it, but there's more of it, so there's gonna be more to clean up. Now on the land, there's a higher chance that they're gonna have a leg injury than a chicken. This is Carol. She hurt her leg when she was a baby, so we try to keep extra special care and protection over her. We have her in a fenced area because she's easy prey. I mentioned earlier, female ducks can be quite noisy with their quacking. Um, if you have a close neighbor, they might not appreciate the ducks quacking. Like right now, I'm right out by the duck pen. They're completely silent. But when they get going, they get going. And if you decide to have male ducks, the mating is actually barbaric looking. Well, not just looking, it's pretty barbaric. They can actually injure the female during mating they're just so aggressive with it. We mentioned they're not as friendly. Ducks are just not as friendly as chickens. They're just not as pet-like. I think the most annoying thing I find about ducks is they don't go into their coop at night automatically like the chickens do. Every night I have to herd them into the coop, which is rather annoying. I have one duck specifically, her name is Bubbles, and almost every night I play, you know, ring around the rosies trying to get her to go into the coop. All the rest of them have gone in, but she is the difficult one aggravating there's been times i've just wanted to leave her out and let something get her because i've been out a half hour trying to get her in the coop not cool deciding if you're going to pick one breed or the other or have both it's going to 100 percent depend on your circumstances if you have water nearby ducks are amazing and you can get a lot of money for their eggs if you don't you have to provide water you might decide yeah i'm not doing that i live where water is expensive i don't have a well that's out of the question for me I'm gonna break it down to the top three pros and cons for chickens and ducks. This is what it would be. Chickens are excellent at scratching up and eating insects, so insect control. They're also really easy to maintain. They don't take a lot of time and energy. And then my favorite thing about them is they put themselves to bed at night. Now for negatives, they are scratching up the world and quite can be quite destructive in that sense. They do tend to grow broody and roosters can just be mean and loud. Now for ducks, they are fantastic at getting rid of slugs. You can make a lot more money with their eggs than chicken eggs and they thrive in wet climates. Negatives are that they are very messy with their water, the females are very loud, and they do not go into their coop at night. I made a video about the best chicken breeds for beginners. I'm going to link that down below if you're thinking about getting chickens. And then this last winter I raised some ducks with my class and I had the best experience ever raising ducks. It was the least messy easiest process we've done yet. So I'm going to leave that one down below too for you to check out if you want. And I'll see you later.